What's up, Mediocre Hunter channel? Today we're making oven baked jerky, and we're doing it in just a couple of easy steps, so it really won't be taking that much time. Today we're using backwood jerky seasoning. So we're gonna use this whole sucker for the five pounds of venison I got in the bowl. So we're gonna start out by dumping all this spice right in the bowl. Now a quick little, is you probably don't wanna be cooking on the poison bag because that would probably create for an unfun meal. So once we got all of that in here, we're gonna use just a little bit of water to dilute the spice. Not too much, just enough to make sure it's a creamy paste. So now in the mediocre hunter, we don't believe in cure. You could use cure, but because bulking season's right around the corner, we're gonna be eating lots of it really quick. And all those additives and chemicals, we don't need them. So this is more than enough to, uh, to get some flavor. All right, so now that I got my uh, creamy paste, we're just gonna put this right in the bowl. So now we're all about grit on this channel. So we're just gonna get right in there with our hands and just start mixing it. Oh yeah, she sound nice. Now really the only key in here other than having a good time in this cold bowl is just to make sure that the spices are equally distributed. So pretty much that's it. So you're gonna throw this thing in the uh, refrigerator for about eight hours and this is where I step off and uh, I'm gonna give it back to the mediocre hunter. Uh, my son introduced the, the basic concepts of mixing up the spices in the meat. Now next you're gonna take the spices and you have to form uh, the actual uh, product. And I like using this kind of simple cheap uh, system from uh, Walmart, you can do whatever you want. In fact, there's actually videos online where you don't even need a jerky maker, uh, but this actually works well for me. It's just like a little plastic gun uh, and you basically put your meat in this tube here you put it on and you pick the adapter of your choice to kind of squirt out the product. So the very first step is to get your uh, drying racks. And I bought these off of Amazon made specifically for jerky. Uh, if you're interested, I can always post the link. Um, I like to spray um, the, uh, the drying racks with some cooking uh, oil so the jerky doesn't get uh, stuck to it. All right, so the next step couldn't be any easier. You're gonna load up your jerky gun, which is just that plastic tube uh, with this little uh, handle here that you're gonna squeeze that'll shoot it out. You'll see that in just a second. So I'm gonna take the meat uh, that we prepared last night and we're just gonna basically uh, stick it inside the, uh, the jerky gun here. You're gonna get messy, so sometimes I just use my hands um, or a combination of the tools. This has all those good spices in it. And again, we didn't put cure in this because it goes so fast in my house that it doesn't make sense to put the added chemicals in. Um, and also, if you, don't, if you don't want to eat it right away, you can freeze it, which is so awesome. Um, and you can just store a whole bunch of it without all the curing agents in it. But you know, if you want to make traditional jerky beyond just the spices, you can, um, you can uh, put the curing in, you, then it has a long shelf life, you can keep it in the cupboard and stuff like that. But again, that's not really an issue for us because we, uh, we eat it so fast. When I put my adapter on, I like this two-pronged one because I like these sticks it makes. I put the cap on, secure that like that. Okay, and then um, make sure everything's nice and, nice and tight. And I think you can see how this works. You're gonna squeeze it and there's a plunger that comes out right here that's gonna push the meat out and then squeeze it out of these uh, these holes. And I'm gonna slowly move my jerky gun back so these, these little sticks, if you will, um, keep coming out. Sometimes on the first one, one of them shorter than the other, that's okay. That kind of all works its way out. Cause then you can put, you can put more on if you want to later. All right, and then it's about at the end. So I just gonna put my finger on it and then ta-da, there it is. And I'm gonna do this the whole way down now you can see the jerky gun, the little plastic plungers all the way to the front because it pushed all the meat out. So you have to reload it here. So there's a, little, there's a little knob right there that you push in and then I pull back on the, um, the handle and it comes all the way back. And now I'm gonna reload uh, this with more, more jerky uh, and then repeat the process. Okay, so there we have it. All right, we got three racks 
uh, of, um, of of venison jerky. You can use any meat that you want with this, as long as it's low fat. So that would be like wild turkey. Um, uh, low fat beef will make beef jerky venison is perfect elk and the ground method is is just super simple now that it's on the rack we're going to put it in the oven at 170 degrees uh, for three to five hours and we're going to talk about how to know when it's really done okay so the the next step is to take the jerky and put it in the oven and we're going to put this on 170 degrees okay and what i like to do is um Kind of use three of the racks um, and not uh, allow the most circulation as possible so i kind of have the rack set up like that and all we do is uh, go ahead and stick these guys right in at 170 degrees and the key here is you put something uh, to keep your oven open uh, because you don't want it to get too hot because we're not trying to uh, cook this uh, like um, like a like a full uh, let's say a burger or meatloaf or something. So here we are. This is about three hours later and you can see things shrunk a lot. And the way I tell if it's done is I take a piece and I, and I, I bend it. I bend it a little bit. If it doesn't immediately snap, um, then I know that it's probably about the right um, doneness, if you will. Because um, remember, this is still drying out a little bit. Uh, and it will uh, it'll get a little bit harder and crispier as it as it cools and as any additional uh, moisture uh, evaporates. So um, I call it the bend test. Let's do that again. See, it doesn't really snap, um, and that suggests that it's pretty close to being done. And just a little bit of drying on the rack here in the uh, environment is all it needs. Okay, so it's been uh, cool in here for a little bit. Uh, this is a, the Carolina Jerk, and I'm just going to take up a little piece here and a little, little taste test. Nice and, uh, nice and still moist, but yet dry. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mm, just the right amount of flavor, wildness, gamey, but yet not tough. Thanks so much for joining the Mediocre Hunter. And remember, hunt, fish, and love. We'll see you soon.